Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Lisa, your art teacher. Welcome back to my table of art. Well, we're into week three of the summer session, and this week is all about the solar system. What do those planets do up in the sky while we sleep at night on Earth? And for that matter, what does Earth do all day long while we play and walk and do whatever it is that we do every day? Well, they're spinning round and round and round and round. And as they're spinning round and round and round and round, they're spinning around our sun. Each of the planets in our solar system go all the way around the sun, like the sun is the mother ship and everybody around it is his, her babies. And they just keep going around and around and around. Did you ever do that? Did you ever stand on the grass and just spin around and around and around? I bet you got really dizzy, maybe even fell to your side. I know I did when I was a kid. If I did that now, I'd probably get sick. But that was fun, and I enjoyed spinning round and round. How come we don't get sick as our Earth spins round and round? Hmm, I wonder. Well, maybe you're going to learn about that this week. But what we're going to do today, because our Earth spin round and round and round, we're going to make a spinning top that's just like our planets, and we're going to spin them round and round and round. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm going to need a few items, which I'm going to send to you so you don't have to worry. I'm going to send each of you two plain white disc. These are CD disc. They're plain and you can write on them. I'm also going to send every one of you two marbles. That's right, two marbles. We're going to use the marbles to help create our spinning planets. Now the other thing you're going to need to have at home, markers. If you have markers of any kind, perfect. They have to, don't have to be Sharpies. They could be regular markers. They could be fat markers. They could be thin markers. It's all you need to do is provide your markers and a little liquid glue. So if you have liquid glue at home, we need that. A glue stick won't work. I tried it, didn't work. Liquid glue was best. Any kind of liquid glue, clear liquid glue, white liquid glue, purple liquid glue, any kind of liquid glue you have. Now this project takes time because the liquid glue really needs to dry before you start spinning your planets, okay? So I'm gonna focus this down on my desk so you can see what I'm doing. So hang on. Okay, I think you could see this now. Very good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a sheet with all the planets in our solar system. Just as a guide, if you need some help deciding how to color your spinning planets. So I'll put this aside and we'll start with one of our planets. Oops, there goes my marble. I'd like to make possibly Jupiter. Isn't Jupiter pretty? So if I was to make Jupiter, what colors do you think I should choose? Did you say orange? Well, you're right. So I'm gonna grab my orange marker what other color do you see? If you said blue, you're absolutely right. Now, if you notice, there's two blues. So I'm gonna take a dark blue and I'm going to go with a light blue, kind of a turquoisey blue. And in the orange planet, there's some little spots of red. It's very faint, but I see it. Look, that's pink, so I'll take this red here. Yes, perfect. So now I have four colors I'm gonna work with for my planet, which I'm making Jupiter. So I'm just gonna take my marker and I'm going to start with the blue to make those lines that are in here. And I'm just gonna color my CD the way I see my Jupiter. Now you don't have to copy my Jupiter or any of my planets that I send you. You can make up your very own planets and still they'll spin because we're making a spinning top, which is spinning planets, just like how the planets spin around the sun in our solar system. 
this is what it looks like to the astronauts and all the men that take care of all our aeronautics stuff. They look in these big telescopes and they see the planets with all its craters. And this is pretty much what they've come up with. I don't think these are the exact colors of the planets, but for now we're gonna use it as a guide. And these will be the planet colors for us. And again, you don't need to color your planets this color. You don't need to follow my sheet at all. Use your own imagination, create your own planets, use your own colors. Markers work the best. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie, it could be any marker. Okay, so now I see two blue, so I'm gonna add that other blue I was talking about. And I'm just gonna go back to these lines and just add a lighter blue right along the edge of the darker blue. It's very simple. Get a little light blue here as well. Nothing has to be perfect or exact. We're just creating our spinning planets. There we go. Could you imagine being in a rocket ship and coming up and seeing all these beautiful planets up in our solar system? That must be really beautiful. Those astronauts are so lucky. Wouldn't you love to be an astronaut? Okay, all right, now I'm going to start on the orange part of Jupiter. This is Jupiter I'm working with right now. So I'm just gonna color in between all the blue areas with the orange. Hey, you know what this reminds me of? The Yankees, oh, I'm sorry, not the Yankees, the Mets. Mets are blue and orange. I should have known that because I'm a Yankee fan. <laughs> Uh, right now we have no baseball, but it'll all come back. Look at that. Look how beautiful Jupiter's coming out. Don't you agree? It's really starting to look just like Jupiter. Notice I'm not coloring it in completely. I'm leaving out some spots. Do you remember I picked another color for to share with the orange area? I might fill those spots in with that color. It was red. That's pretty good. We're almost done with the coloring part. All right, let me put this back. Always remember to cap your markers or else they dry out and you won't be able to use them again. Now I'm going back in with some of this red, just a little bit, not a lot. Just wanna add the little bit of red that I saw in the picture, okay? Can you see just a little bit being added in? I'm not going crazy. Just a little. Because this will add to the color as the, the planet spins. Okay, so let's cover that and put it away. So now I'm gonna pull out my liquid glue, but before I do that, I want to just cover my cutting board because I really don't want any glue on my cutting board. Because some will leak through use my new purple glue. Isn't that pretty? It goes on purple, but it dries clear. I love it. So we're going to get the marble and we're going to glue the marble right into the center of our disc. So if you're ready, let's just glue all the way around the inner part of this disc. See where my purple glue is going? There we go. And then we're going to stick that marble in, lift up this disc, Find a bowl or a cup or a plate or something you could rest, rest the disc on so the marble could dry because what's happening is the marble sticks out in the back. So I can't lay it flat to dry because then it'll just pop out of the disc. So I need to get this. Make sure there's lots of glue on the center of this disc here. Lots of glue. See, don't even worry that you put a lot on. The more you put on, it just the longer it's gonna to take to dry, that's all. But you wanna make sure it stays on forever. Okay, remember this is going to dry clear, so not to worry. Now I will close my glue, I'm gonna wipe off all that excess and put that aside. So I'm gonna put this aside and let that dry. And remember, you have two discs that you could create two different planets. 
And the reason I did that is because I want you to have one planet revolve around the other. So let me get this out of the way because I'm done with this. I'm also sending you a really cute coloring page. Oops, that's not it. Let me find the coloring page. Remember I was talking about being a, an astronaut in a rocket ship? How cool that would be? Well, that's what I got to reach for back here. Hold on. I'm going to get it. Don't mind my arm. Here we go. Okay, look at this. Color and spin your planet below. So what I want you to do while that's drying, so you stay busy, color in your rocket ship with your two little friends inside. Maybe one is you, maybe one's a friend, a sister or a brother, cousin, whoever. Color this whole scene really beautiful. And right below, we're gonna take the planets and we're going to spin. So it almost seems like we're part of the orbit of all our solar system. This is one that we did earlier. I had a little friend of mine do this for me. It's the Earth. So when you spin it, look at the beautiful colors you see. So you're orbiting around and the Earth is spinning. And now this one I believe was Saturn. And let's spin Saturn. And look at that, our spinning planets. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed making it. This is a really fun project. You can make as many as you want, but I'm only sending you two discs to show how our Earth spins and our Saturn spins, how our Jupiter spins, how all the planets in the solar system spin around our sun. What do you think? Uh-oh, collision! Have contests. See which one could spin the longest. Make up your own game. Just make sure you have fun while you do it, okay? Watch this. All right, boys and girls, let me turn this off for now and I'm going to come back, okay? Okay, so how did you enjoy making your spinning planets? I thought it was pretty cool. I had fun. I hope you had fun. And you know what? While you're spinning your tops or your planets, why don't you spin around? Just be careful. You might get dizzy and fall down, so don't spin too much. Well, enjoy your week of the solar system. I hope you'll learn a whole bunch. I know I did just trying to prepare for this. And next week is, I'm not sure. What are you doing next week? It's a surprise. Well, until then, this is Miss Lisa saying, ciao for now from my table of art. And I'll see you next week. Bye kids, have fun spinning round and round and round and round.